All right. Um, today I will be teaching you, as the title of the video suggests, how to install all the MindTrack mods uh, to your current client. So first step, you need to get your client ready. So if you haven't already, we currently run version 1.12.2, so go ahead and install that by going to Installations, New, select the version, that one right there, and create it. Alright, now that you've done that, uh, you will go ahead and navigate to it and go ahead and install that. And when that is done installing, I will get back to you. Alright, once you've finished um, installing the new version 1.12.2, go ahead and open up the game. When it goes to the main menu, go ahead and close it. You won't be needing that for a little bit. And then here's what you gotta do go Windows R. Type in percent at data percent. Go to dot Minecraft and put this aside for for now. And then go ahead and download this mod pack right here on the site, which I'll make in the description. And this one. I'm pretty sure Forge in, the, in this one because you 100% need Forge. Just give it a second. I could be wrong. It might not be in this one. There it is. Okay. Now. Now that Forge is right here. Once you've installed it. And make sure Minecraft isn't open. Since it's right here. Actually. What I'm going to do is. Grab my downloads, put it down here, just so it's there. There's the other mod pack too, just in case. Better be safe than sorry. All right. It's oh yeah, it's also here. Where is it? Okay. Double click your Forge installer. Install client. It, it it's usually pretty good by default. Sorry for that. So let's make sure everything's good on a client. Yep, it's okay. It'll do a quick load. Shouldn't take too long, depending on the speed of your drive. I've done this so many times. It's like second nature to me. Now, every, every once in a while on a blue moon, the server will change versions. So just, if it does change versions, disregard my instructions for 1.12.2, if it's 1.16 or whatever, just, it's not the most future-proof video in the world. Okay. Go ahead and go back to Minecraft. If you did that properly, it should say Forge 1.12.2 down here, instead of just 1.12.2. Go ahead and press play. You have to do this before you can go any further. You gotta. I don't know why you have to open the game, but if everything's working, you should get an anvil and some other loading things. Usually it's just one bar, but not today. Okay, once again, you gotta get rid of that. And if you're lucky, you should have a mods folder right here. Now, drag and drop all this stuff, except for Forge, because you already messed with that. Ignore Mac OS. I don't, you'll have to look somewhere else for a Mac OS because I don't know how to install Mac OS mods if I'm being totally honest. Oops. It doesn't go here, it goes in here. Just plop them in there. Oh, that's quick. Go to the other mod pack. 
already had it. Go to mods. Select everything. We, at this point, we're just making sure you got everything. You might have to replace some files. There you go. All right. So let's review. Download all mods from the site. Ignore my bad spelling. Click the install button. Launch the game. Should show forge in what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Launcher profile? I think that's what it's called. I don't know what it's called, if I'm being totally honest. All right, dragon. Next up, we're gonna get the the texture pack. Drag and drop all mods, but forge installer from both folders into the mods folder in the dot minecraft root directory sorry I've heard this helps all right just in case you get lost there you go now let's grab that um, resource pack but we're currently on 10.2 just go ahead and install all that. I'm just making sure I'm still recording. That's happened to me before. I'm sure it's happened to anyone who does videos like this. Go back to your Minecraft. Not that one. Your root directory. They all look the same. And then go ahead and drag and drop this new, that's weird, go ahead and drag and drop that into there. I must already have it, so it's making a one in there. Okay, now launch the game again. gonna go ahead and load up all the mods for us so it should have light loader and gamma write which gives you the commands to brighten stuff up and we should also have go away we should also have the resource packs I this is not scripted obviously as you can tell I wing everything All right, this is one take. Let's see if this works. It usually does if you did it right. Black tie blocks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what that is. All right, I'm sure you know how to do this. This is a fresh install, so everything's off. Um, go to your resource packs. Go ahead and throw that in. Alright. 
go to multiplayer, add server. Capitalization doesn't really matter when you're typing it in. It's mindtrack.net. Let it ping. Oh, there's only one person here. Weird. And boom. All right, we're in. First try. Okay. And once you get in here, I suggest you go into your options, controls. Go all the way down, find all the G's. At least this is what I do. I don't recommend this, but I, since I don't use chisels and bits, I just set all these to tilde. And then go all the way down again, right? Which is, I find it, sorry. Top game writes G. You can press G and get everything okay. We are in the game. If you have any issues, you can either talk to me or you can talk to anyone, any of the staff on the server. We'll be glad to help you out. But other than that, you should be good to go. Let me see, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I did miss something. I will go ahead and disconnect and close out the game. Let's talk about Java arguments. I don't even fully understand these. I just went off what the fellows over there at Mindtrack told me to do. Let me zoom out a little bit. These are fun. These are really fun. Okay. Go back in your Mindtrack launcher. These are important, but kind of confusing. Okay. It's all about RAM usage, allocation, and whatnot. I won't pretend to know what the hell it, how it's all about, but you get the gist. Okay. So go into your installations, that's what it's called. Okay. You edit it, you go to more options, and Java, Java arguments right here. Now, if you need help with this, talk to Shad or M. They're pretty good at good at this stuff. They gave me a custom one. I'll have to get it back again because I uninstalled the game and forgot to get it, but whatever. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Just with less available RAM, lower CPU, whichever one applies to you. Um, go ahead and grab that. Let's see. This is me. So, go ahead and paste that in. Enjoy it. Okay. Once again, if you have any questions, we're all in the Discord. Happy to help. And see you, I'll see you on the server.